Welcome guys in this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a window inside SFML. So let's start. Thing is the namespace, then render window. And then the name of the window. We can just give the window all the settings here, but we just gonna make something else like window.create it's better i think then we're just gonna give it a video mode which is the size or the resolution of the window let's make it 800 by 600 you can choose any resolution you like then we're just gonna give it the name let's make it sfml sfml window then the style so sf style you can choose any style you like like close full screen or non sizable or title bar if you are making a, a commercial game i suggest making full screen but in the, inside the development don't make it just let it make, just make it default but when you're gonna release your game make it full screen or don't and make a settings inside the game where you can make it like a full screen so let's just choose default and simple now so let's create the window or the while loop okay so the game loop inside it we're going to if or while the window dot is open before this we need to create an event so the namespace event uh, let's name it event don't name it like this event because it's already taken by another type so inside here we're just gonna make another while loop. We're gonna say window dot full event and inside here we're just gonna make event. So now inside here we can just make the switch k or case and or the if uh, or the if statement. I'm just gonna use an if statement uh, because it's only a beginner tutorial but if you know that the switch in the case is better than the if statement then just use uh, the switch and the in the case so let's make an if statement called if event dot type is equal to sf the namespace event closed then let's just here and let's make the window close to render things no i just took it here so to render things inside the window you need to create two things like window that clear which gonna clear the white things inside the window and window dot display inside those two you can just draw the entities like let's create something like it's a circle shape and let's name it like circle Just make a circle like radius to 25. Let's make circle dot set color. Red. Wait, set. No, I just forgot. Let's just like just draw it now. Window the draw circle 
let's see if it's work then we're just gonna give it a color so inside the terminal let's choose common font let's try this mean you know you make and make file to compile so main pt to set up SFML, you can just see my previous video where I just make a tutorial how to set up SFML inside VS Code and using NGW. So let's run it. You have the circle forming here. So let's change his color. So circle. So I just mean here circle. I just did that. So circle dot set fill color to SF color. Let's choose something like blue or green. Let's choose red. Then let's just run again. Same thing. Let's build the project. Then let's just run the window. It's like this. As you can see here inside the Mac file, uh, the the build I build the game in default in uh, like release mode. But if you add here like flash C or something, you can just build it in debug mode. So this is our video, I hope you liked the video and you learned how to make a window. So please subscribe and like the video if you want more tutorial about SFML in future. So goodbye for another video.